Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly uh, share a testimony about how incredible God is. Um, I just watched a video from a sister in Christ, uh, Blessed Hope 117, um, talking about an experience that she had where God taught her something about John chapter 15. Now, I don't know this sister outside of YouTube. We comment on each other's videos every once in a while, but I don't have her number. She doesn't have mine. We don't, we're not in contact outside of YouTube. Um, we don't know each other that well other than through our videos, um, which is important for you to understand how amazing this story is. But she, in her most recent video, is talking about how she had a recent encounter with John chapter 15, and she kind of like pondered about the language there, and she prayed to God that he would make this clear to her what John chapter 15 was talking about. And guys, I say in my videos all the time that you have no need for any man to teach you, that you have everything that you need in the spirit of God. He is your teacher. You can go to him and he can teach you. Um, and this this is just a, a beautiful testimony of this. But she <clears throat> prayed to the Lord for him to reveal to her what John chapter 15 was talking about. And she goes on to reveal what the Lord showed her. And any of you who have been watching my channel for any length of time know that John chapter 15 is a very special passage to me because it was John chapter 15 that the Lord used to pretty much teach me everything that I know about the Bible. It was this passage that the Lord really blew wide open my understanding of the Bible. Um, I remember I went on a three-day journey with the Lord um, non-stop for three days, binging through scripture. And he used my fear of this passage to show me everything that I know that I teach you on this channel about Israel, about the covenants, um, about the Garden of Eden in reference to the tree of life versus the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Um, I talk to you a lot on this channel about those two trees in the Garden of Eden being the basis of the covenants law versus grace, uh, the tree of life representing Jesus Christ, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil representing the law, right? Um, all of the stuff that I teach you guys on this channel about Israel and their representation is the fig tree. Um, all of these teachings that I've done over the years were revealed to me by God through John chapter 15. Nobody taught me these things. I, as as far as I know, I've never heard even any any pastors or YouTube teachers talking about these things. Um, I hadn't learned what I am teaching you from anybody. God showed me. In fact, the concept of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and that whole teaching that I do, God showed me that in a dream. I literally woke up one day with a download. I woke up. It was one of those nights where I couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning all night. I had scriptures pouring through my mind in my sleep. I couldn't remember what they were when I woke up, but all night long, I just remember hearing and seeing scriptures. And I woke up with this understanding. Um, and it was all through that three-day journey about John chapter 15. And so when I was watching this sister's channel, and she started off with John chapter 15, immediately I got goosebumps because I had no idea where she was going with this, but I just had this discernment that, oh boy, here we go. I mean, what are the chances? I've never talked to her about John chapter 15. We don't talk outside of YouTube. And is, he gonna, is, is she gonna tell me that he revealed to her the, the very same things that he revealed to me? Uh, without us ever having talked. And sure enough, like clockwork, bam, bam, bam. Everything from the, the cursed fig tree in Jesus's parable to the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the Garden of Eden, everything that he taught me using John chapter 15, he taught her. Nobody taught her that. She didn't hear it from a pastor on a pulpit. I didn't either. God himself threw, I'm getting the goosebumps, God himself through his spirit taught her that. And I know he taught me that because no pastor taught me that. Nobody on some pulpit on a Sunday taught me that. The Lord God himself taught me that. 
And it's just confirmation to me because nobody taught her that either. That was the spirit of God teaching her that. And so what guys, when I tell you that you can go to the spirit of God and have him teach you, I mean that. The Bible, when it says that, means that. God literally can teach you. You don't need somebody to teach you anything. You don't need me to teach you. You don't need anybody to teach you. You just have to trust that the Lord will teach you. And he will. When you go to him in faith, he will. He did it for me, guys. I remember, you know, I struggled with John chapter 15. That was it, my struggle. It started out a lot like hers in her video where it was like, I read the language of John chapter 15 and I was kind of like, what's going on? You know, what does this mean? You know, and everybody loves to use that passage as a proof text that you can lose your salvation. But um, so I was really struggling. And I remember that the Bible was open on my floor to John chapter 15 for days. And finally, the Lord just took me on this three day journey where it was just like things were, I was having these dreams at night. I was spending my days reading through these scriptures and all of this, this knowledge was just coming from nowhere that I never heard before. I had no understanding of everything about Jesus being the true Israel and Hosea 11, 1, that teaching that I've done. All of this came understanding Jesus's parables and who Jesus was speaking to, understanding who the fig tree is. All of these things that I'm constantly re reiterating to you guys, God taught me through John chapter 15. And now he did the exact same thing, taught the exact same messages to this sister in Christ that I don't even know. I don't talk to her outside of uh, YouTube. You know, we've, you know, exchanged comments back and forth a few times on YouTube, but we don't have any contact. We're not, I, I didn't tell her these things. I certainly didn't tell her, you know, that I got it from John chapter 15. And it, this all came to her through God. Everything that was told to me was told to her. It just, I mean, man, it just blows my mind, guys. God is so awesome. He really is. Um, man. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys um, as a testimony that um, you don't need any man to teach you. God will teach you. There ain't nothing special about me. I'm not smart. I'm not even particularly that smart. Um, I'm actually kind of a dimwit, but <laughs> those people that know me outside of YouTube, I'm kind of a dimwit. So guys, it's there's nothing special about me. I'm not particularly smart. Um, I'm just somebody that really has struggled with scripture most of my life. And I came, I remember when I was a kid, when I first started reading the Bible back in high school, like early years of high school, I remember reading through the old covenant and yelling at God about the things that I read that scared me and frightened me and things that I didn't understand. In fact, one of the big issues that I had as a kid was this whole, you know, God loves Israel more than the Gentiles, that God loves Jews more than the, the Gentiles, this whole notion that still unfortunately is going on today um, about God, you know, supposedly loving the Jews more than the Gentiles. And I remember as a, as a kid with no understanding, like I didn't know anything that I was reading, reading through the old covenant and reading these things. And I remember I felt so ashamed, like God loves me less because I'm a Gentile and I'm not a Jew. I felt like that, you know, the redheaded stepchild, right? The the one who kind of, you know, God just dealt with or, you know what I mean? And I remember I used to yell out to God, like, this isn't fair. What is it? What does this even mean? And I did this as a kid with no understanding. And let me tell you, God was faithful. Because the very questions in my youth that I was yelling, and I wasn't being respectful, guys. I was irreverent. I was a rebellious, mouthy kid. And God, even in, even in the midst of my sin and my disrespect, God never forgot my questions. And when the time was right, he answered them. Even though I said it with anger and with disrespect and irreverence, it makes me shudder just thinking about the way that I spoke to him during those times, but he never forgot. He never forgot. And when the time was right, he answered my questions. The very questions that I asked when the time was right, 
he showed me. Um, man, and, and the enemy is always at work, guys. He's always at work trying to malign the character of God, to, to make God look like the bad guy. Oh, he's big and he's mean and he's nasty and he's this and he's that. No, he's not. No, he's not. Not to his children, to his enemies. Whew, I wouldn't want to be the enemy of our God. But to his children, there is no better father. There is no kinder, gentler, more merciful father than our God. Like I said, I would not want to be his enemy. Um, not, not a God that you want to be the enemy of. But his children, totally different ball game, guys. Totally different ball game. Anyway, I hope this brings uh, just a boost to your faith like it did mine. I love you guys. Bye.